new products here at the CCA Workbench, yes, Dave. Sir. And man. My favorite part. It is because. Because I get to keep most of them. We're talking boys with toys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to keep this one though, unfortunately. We, we're going to start with the Helios SX HSX 40. <clears throat> Perfect size rod for, I mean, reel for trout and redfish down there in Texas. Yeah, Great man. for bass. Um, should be good for anything unless you're going offshore and trying to catch a blue marlin. So Dave, when you're looking at a reel, what mm -hmm. is it that you look for? Well, durability for one, and, th and this thing's made to be durable and, and to be light, you know, especially if you're going to be casting a lot during the day, you know, a big heavy reel wears, wears you down. I like this one because it's light, it's got carbon fiber uh, side plates yeah. in the back, it's got this torsion control armor, they call it, the TCA, this aluminum frame all around the 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 front the carbon fiber right. so it makes it really light and you know it's still strong though right. it's got the machine handle and the big eva handle it's nice and fat so yeah you're not you feeling know, usually around. a small reel like this they'll put little tiny handles on them this one's got a nice big fat handle so what about the bail i love this bales is one of the best parts about this reel small small spinning reels have a tendency to get the bales messed up a lot and look at the gauge on that that, that right. spinning that, that bale. So it's not gonna. I think it won't get bent when you're bouncing around from the car to the truck yeah. out into the boat. You know, you always got four or five of them pressed together. You're carrying four or five of them at once. It's a good way for the bales to get one, and that's the bales usually the first one that gets Ported blown away. Spool. Yep, just a, you know, it's a machined aluminum spool, so they put ports in it to make it lighter, and no matter what kind of braid in there and what kind of drag you put on it, it's not going to crush that spool. You know what else I like since they've all come out with this is that when I spray my reel down in yeah. my cleanup phase, I actually can it get into water a in place and salt water. That's important. Exactly, exactly. Pretty work. All right, all right what well else you got? <clears throat> next thing, we've got some uh, top water plugs from Gill Reaper Lures. This is called the Spitter. And you can tell it's got a, a little place for the water to come out on the bottom so it doesn't make a full cup. And what it does is it just spits the water out and makes a little spit, spitting sound. Mm -hmm. uh, that, I think that one's the, the pearl. And this is the pearl shad and the, the bone. I think this is the pearl great shad. Great Texas colors. Hey? Oh, man, it'd be great for trout or redfish. Really nice big uh, treble hooks on here. You won't have to tra change the hooks out. It's made to catch big fish, and, and I'm sure that they will. I can't wait to use them. Those are brand new, as you can tell, spanky. I haven't got a chance to use those yet, but they're <laughs> going to be used quickly. I guarantee it. Well, that's, that's, well, we'll do those first. These are, these are pretty cool. Uh, this is the Marker 54 hard plastic shrimp, they call yeah, them. The, the, the body is hard. That's what makes them so neat. You know, they, these things have a, a, like a rubberish, I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's some sort of stuff that goes down through there. And, and makes this thing very flexible. So it's got a hard outer shell, but it's still flexible. And you fish it from the middle, from the middle point from right there. Yeah, and you just pop that thing a couple of times. And when it's popping like that, it'll pop, pop, and then slowly float down with that tail coming out like that. Right. And I know that they're gonna pile all over that. <clears throat> That's another one I can't, can't stand it. I haven't used it yet. I didn't want to lose them before the show started. I've, I've had them for a couple of weeks and I've been going, oh, I gotta use those things or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna die. This is a mirror lure mirrodine. I don't I know if you guys have ever used a mirror lure, you've probably used a mirrodine. The mirrodine is one of my favorite lures. It catches tons of trout for me and tons of redfish. It's a lot smaller. This is the XXL, it's called. The mirrodine XXL, which just means it's a giant version of the little mirrodine that's so popular. And it looks like a pilchard, you know, or a little white bait. And right, it, and it's a spin or a pogey, or a pogey. and you know, thread it, fin if, you, if you're shore. fishing in dark water, you can use something like this with a chartreuse head, get you some contrast. It suspends at 10 to 12 inches, uh, and will do whatever you do to it. You know, right. you you put the action in this thing. You can just reel it straight along, or you can jerk it back and forth and make it shine. All right, what else you got? There? Well, this is perfect for Texas. You know, I was joking around with him earlier. This is the release ruler made by a fella here in Florida, but he does them for Texas and Florida and everywhere else. We got it. You got slam ones. This was for the trout, flounder, and redfish. I don't know if that. Yeah, that's the yeah, same one. A slam. Well, that's a that, that's a ruler that you can just have on your boat. This one's a decal. You can actually stick oh, it on stuff. You can you stick know? it someplace. Yeah, on he the makes boat. rulers and decals. He also does them for freshwater. What? You know? Yeah, different lakes and stuff. So he's got. You know, the different sizes for the different lakes for the Texas. So this, you can just actually make this go around, right? Yeah. And then you come in here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not how Is that, that works. Is that how it works? No. How's it work, Dave? Oh, no, you just put your fish on the side. Oh, you lay it I flat, 
You put his head right so here. So we're not measuring girth here. No, no. I was measuring girth earlier, unfortunately. Oh, see, you threw but me no, off. Yeah, but no, no, it's not a girth measurement. Also, and like I said, this comes in the stickers too. Stickers and or. Pretty work. Just a ruler. 